When I was 12 years old, the economy went into the dot-com bubble. Everybody was irrationally exuberant. I distinctly remember my dad. He, had, he was good friends with one of his co-workers. They were both from Taiwan. And he would often have that co-worker and his family over to discuss how to trade the stock market. And I got along with um, his co-worker's son. Um, he and I used to uh, do a lot of dangerous things. They would come over and we would go to the fireplace and burn things. And um, that year I learned how to make sodium chlorate, an oxidizing explosive with electrolysis. And I had prepared this batch of sodium chlorate and um, he had invited his coworker and their kids over and I placed the sodium chlorate into a phone book and I burned it and the phone book just completely disintegrated. My mom was so upset. I think for a time she didn't allow us to see each other anymore. But we were spending money really freely. Like he, 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 his family and our family, we would often go out to expensive restaurants. And not only that, but uh, we, we were buying clothes left and right. I remember having very nice clothing to wear and so did my mom and their family was doing that as we were all irrationally exuberant. And I think that year we also upgraded our car. Uh, my dad, who used to drive a, a, an Oldsmobile, was now driving a Mazda Tribute, if I remember correctly. And then not long after that, the economy crashed. We had 9-11 and uh, nobody wanted to spend any money. I remember George Bush telling us to go shopping because nobody wanted to. There was so much uncertainty. And I remember we would be driving past the, the car dealer and there would be huge fire sales. And um, shopping malls would have going out of business sales. And I remember telling myself, you know, this is insane. When I grow up, I'm going to do it the other way around. You know, when, when everybody's irrationally exuberant, I want to get the most money out of it. And when all these businesses are going fire sale, I want to buy stuff. I remember I was only 14 years old at the time, but I quickly came up with that concept when I saw what was going on. And fast forward almost 20 years later, now I get my chance with platinum. Nobody wants to buy platinum because they think, well, there's a group of people who thinks that inflation is transitory. It might be, but it's not like we're going to have deflation and prices going back to where they were, right? Um, there's an increase in the money supply, period, right? Um, and there's a group of people who think that, there's a group of people who disagree, but they think that gold and silver are, are, are uh, the, the only ways to hedge against inflation, right? They forget that um, people still need platinum for their electronics, for their catalytic converters, and platinum's actually uh, being consumed, right? Just like every other metal. My prediction is that in the year 2100 AD, only three metals will remain because everything else is being consumed. In 2100 AD, we'll probably still have iron, we'll definitely have gold, and we'll have even more gold than we do today because practically none of it ever gets consumed. And we're going to have aluminum, but it's going to be really expensive because it's going to take expensive fossil fuels to produce, right? I wouldn't be surprised if 100 years from now, when you go buy a six pack of beer, the cans are actually made of gold and you got to put down a deposit and then you get that deposit back when you recycle. I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, anyway, uh, you got to do what the rest of the, the crowd is not doing in order to thrive, right? Unfortunately, it's never going to be popular, but your goal is not to be popular. Your goal is to improve your own life. Thanks for watching.